Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen and on this channel we film lifestyle and finance videos so you can live a fruitful and abundant life. Before we get started, um, we have a couple of things in the washer and dryer. So if you hear any noise, just know it's the washer and dryer. Okay, so in today's video, I would like to speak about, let's just say six things people really don't tell you coming from a first generation Gen Z. I know being a first generation coming from immigrant parents, there are a lot of things that they did not know so as a result i didn't know the first thing i want to speak about is first of all your parents are supposed to teach you about money so what they don't know you don't know a lot of things come from the home right as a young child your parents are out of many but the number one people who are supposed to teach you and cultivate you and expose you to different things and different environments and if your parents do not know then you do not know if you aren't exposed to certain things by your parents you're gonna have to expose yourself later in life as an adult and that is a couple of things that I've had to do I've had to learn about money I've had to learn how to manage money I've had to learn how to invest money I've had to learn about good investments bad investments I've had to learn about how to make money work for me I have had to teach myself a lot so um, that money talk comes from your parents your parents are the first step of exposure to a lot of things and like I said before if they don't know then you do not know so the second thing um, when it comes to money like people no one told me this okay nobody told me and I am I just turned 23 um, almost two months ago almost not yet almost two months ago and um, no one ever told me that money was a tool right I always I always thought that you had to work hard for money and basically you work for money but the real truth is money works for you okay you do not work for money money works for you you are in charge you are the more intellectual being okay so money is a tool money is basically a metric system of value in the society and if you have money you can make it work for you and if money works for you you can elevate yourself to a higher um class and if you're at a higher class the money's talk the money talks okay and if money talks you can get whatever you want okay so money is a tool you do not work for money money works for you the third thing um, when it comes to things I never knew about money and no one ever taught me or told me about money is that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to go to college because you want to make money so basically college isn't always the answer to wealth or, fin or financial freedom and I know that for, from firsthand. I've seen certain things. People go to college and they don't use their degree. It's a waste of money. They have debt. So if you are the type of person that does not know what you want to do in life, you don't want to be a doctor, you don't want to be a nurse, you don't want to be a lawyer, you don't want to be an engineer, those technical things that you need to go to school for, I would advise you to um, figure out something else before you go to college and waste all that time and all that money. I know a lot of people probably went to college, well some, some probably went to college for the love of money, thinking if I invest in this college education now, I will make tons of money later and that isn't always necessarily true about money or about college, right? Nowadays, the ratio to college and money really doesn't, it really doesn't add up. You can spend $100,000 on a degree and end up getting a job and make about 60K, 
55k 75k if you're lucky imagine that ratio like 100,000 to 60,000 like no and a lot of people they go to college and they spend tons of money and they end up working for the system instead of working for themselves to enrich themselves to educate themselves to enrich their life and their environment and their society they end up going to work and hating it so much getting to deep depression and just feeling like I've wasted my life trying to obtain money when money just money isn't real <laughs> okay money really isn't real but we work so hard for it anyway when it actually is not real if you're lucky a lot of people end up paying their um, college tuition or you know the debt that they've had from loans in college they end up they they end up paying it um, in their 40s mid 40s late 40s and then they're like wow I gave all this money to an education that I didn't really care about I gave a lot of money to this um, school that really did me dirty um, just because people told you to never do things that people tell you to just because of their experience that's their experience it's not your experience right some people might literally be like hey um, I went to college I end up getting a job I bought a home got a car got a family and look at where they are like when did you go to college okay you went to college in 1990 1980s and you were able to pay off your loans because that time college wasn't as expensive as it was now even in the 50s the thing is go to college get a job go to college get a job but um now that doesn't really make sense for a lot of us millennials or gen z generation okay and um yeah a lot of people end up regretting it a lot of people end up going to a huge midlife crisis over i don't know what i want to be i don't know what i want to do because you put so much of your identity into one thing right that wasn't really enriching you in any way it wasn't making you um grow in any way like there are a lot of things that you learn in college that really isn't necessarily something you'll need like in your real life but if you are the type of person that wants to go like you don't know what you want to do but you want to go to college for the experience then you should go only because of the networking if you're able to network right in college then go networking will get you into a lot of places where your degree cannot get you into so yes college isn't always the answer and it's not always the right path for you so be very sure you know do your pros and cons listen to your heart listen to your mind what is lo what logically makes sense for your situation but yeah that's something that nobody told me the fourth thing that no one ever told me is to pay yourself first. I remember um, getting my first job around 17, 18, and I, I didn't necessarily have bills, but I never really paid myself first. I never knew that concept of paying yourself first. Because listen here, if you get your paycheck, you get your, you know, bi-weekly paycheck, weekly paycheck, monthly paycheck, or whatever it is for you, for your situation, and you end up paying all these bills, you're like, yeah, I'm going to pay this bill, I'm going to buy myself this, I'm going to do that. But did you pay yourself first? You're like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to save after I get all these things that I want. I'm gonna save after and um but i'm gonna get what i want now no you should pay yourself first put money into your savings into your like regular savings into your emergency accounts into your 401k into your Roth ira pay yourself first enrich yourself first before you go out and give other people your money when you get paid and you're paying all these things you're giving others your money you're giving other, other people your money and you're not paying yourself first right so yes bills are essential pay your bills pay yourself and then get what you want later not always let me buy this let me pay that and then whatever is left i will use to pay myself no that's not how it works an example that um 
kind of match what I just said is basically when you go to church and you know that you have to give your your first 10% to God the first 10% that's his he doesn't want what you had left over he doesn't want what you wanted to give him is what you are supposed to give him you give him the first okay not the last because he comes first so see yourself as you come first you pay yourself first and then pay others later obviously pay your bills on time but pay yourself first like you like if you are a christian and you would give god your first 10 percent give yourself your your payment first that's basically how i see it the fifth thing that i wish people told me when i was younger is that never listen to anyone that isn't in the position you desire to be in sometimes that might have to be your parents right if you look at your parents and you're like yeah um they're they're doing okay they're probably they're probably living paycheck to paycheck you know they're probably struggling but they're telling me to go to college and they're telling me to get a nice job like they did get a job that um that pays about 50k 55 60k like to them that's comfortable to them but to you where do you want to be where do you want to go what is your goals and if that where your parents are at in life is not your goals then respectfully decline their advice okay respectfully um get mentors that will enrich you that will teach you and help you to grow that will fill your brain up with you know good information positive information that will help you to get to where you want to be if you have to go out there and get a mentor do so if you have to pay for it do so because if you want to be in a certain position you have to put your money where your mouth is right you have to go out you have to you have to network you have to find the right people and you have to keep yourself close to them and get educated so never just listen to a person who isn't where you want to be and they probably think where you want to be is ridiculous it doesn't make sense to them and that's because they're small-minded and your dreams are too big for them to see but god gave you that vision god gave you that dream so it's not too big for you to accomplish through the lord himself so never accept advice from anyone who isn't where you want to be the sixth thing that i never knew no one ever told me until um you know i started educating myself is that wealth is a choice wealth doesn't wealth does not happen by accident right it is a very calculated meticulous thing that you have to plan out and achieve goal by goal wealth is a choice you have to educate yourself you have to um, get help from those who are where you want to be and accomplish your goals step by step like I said wealth is not something that happened there's a car passing by wealth isn't something that happens on accident okay never believe anyone who tell you oh they they were lucky or oh, they're blessed or you know it just happened no wealth doesn't just happen it's something you build towards so never let anyone tell you you can't do it because they got lucky it's not true they planned it they were detailed they were goal oriented and they got it accomplished so these are the six things no one ever told me as a first generation gen z and now i have told you so i hope these um these things help you and enrich you and bring you value and you are able to basically change a couple of things that you have going on to be better from what I just told you. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to let me know that you enjoyed the video and to also let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoyed the video as well. And I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Bye.